I'm damn sure that there's nothing going on in my head other than what is allowed by the laws of nature as we understand them. You might believe in ghosts and things like that. Mm. I mean, look at a ghost. I mean, it's a, it is something that carries the imprint of you, presumably. It looks like you. But that's how fast they go. Mm. That's fast. So that's 99.999999% okay. the speed of light. Quantum AI just matched a space signal from over 14 billion miles away. Voyager 1, the oldest probe out there, just sent a crystal clear signal, and it was the exact pattern a quantum AI predicted before the signal even arrived. That same machine, trained on Earth using deep space math, had already seen the message coming. Tune in because what this machine might predict next could shake our entire view of life, death, and the edge of reality itself. Did a machine just read the universe's mind? The machine that made this prediction was not a regular computer. It was built to think in ways most computers cannot. Instead of checking one answer at a time, it tries many possible answers at once and picks the best one. It has been used in labs to solve tough problems in chemistry, materials, and other areas. But no one thought it could get space right until it did something no one expected, something we're not supposed to talk about yet. When they put the signal from Voyager 1 next to the numbers the machine created, it was like seeing two puzzle pieces snap together. That made a group of researchers stop and look again. Space signals are usually a mess. Stars explode, radiation flies, and all kinds of noise fills the air. But this signal was different. It cut through everything, clear, simple, just like the machine predicted. And it was not luck. This was not a random hit. The same way the machine learns to find patterns in lab problems, it somehow found a pattern that space followed too. No one expected the universe to follow math made here on Earth, but it did. This brings up a big question. Is the universe running on some hidden code? Are the stars, dust, and strange things out there following secret math rules we are only starting to understand? It looks that way. If that is true, then what we have is more than just a smart calculator. We may be holding a key to space itself. This kind of machine could read the universe like a book. It could help us see things we have never seen before understand things that never made sense, and maybe even find ways to speak across space. This is not make-believe. It is already starting. If we can build a machine that sees a pattern in space before the signal even gets here, then the future of space travel could be very different. Instead of just waiting for messages, we could build crafts that understand what is coming before it happens. That would change everything. No more mixed up signals, no more guessing if the message got through, we could build space messengers that think the same way the universe works. That means better missions, faster answers, and maybe even talking to the far parts of the galaxy. There is another twist. The machine that made the prediction learns every time it gets something right. That signal from Voyager 1 gave it proof that it works. And when machines like this get proof, they improve. A lot. It is like a cycle. Guess, check, learn, repeat. That cycle could make these machines much smarter. And this is not just about space. We are talking about better designs, better science, and new discoveries here on Earth too. There is a bigger idea hiding in all this. If the universe follows this deep kind of math, maybe it is not as random as it looks. Maybe it only seems messy. Maybe deep down it is part of a pattern we are just starting to find. Back to Voyager 1. This old piece of gear was launched in the year 1977. It carried a golden record and a bunch of stuff about human life. People thought it was just a space-time capsule. Now it is sending back proof that the universe and our math are more connected than we thought. The signal is a big clue. It means the tools we build to solve hard problems might also work to understand space. They might match the way the universe really works. And that is important, because if you can predict a message from deep space using a machine, what else can you predict? What else is out there following patterns we are just now learning to see? That is the real story here. We are not just watching the sky. We are starting to understand how it works. And when we understand something, we can use it. We are not just building better tools. We are building tools that think in the same rhythm as the universe. That signal from Voyager 1 is not just a beep in the dark. It is part of a growing picture. This machine that made the match works by changing itself again and again until it finds the best answer. It is not locked into one way of thinking. It tries, checks, adjusts, and keeps going until the answer is good. 
Scientists have been using this to work on stuff like new medicines and better materials. But predicting a space signal, that is a new step. And the signal is not something simple. Out in deep space, messages have to go through all kinds of trouble. There is radiation, cold, distance, and things that bend or break signals. But this one came through, and it looked just like what the machine expected. That means the universe might not be as wild and random as we thought. There might be a quiet order underneath it all. If the math in the machine can match what is out there, maybe the universe is built on the same rules. This also means we can start to think about new ways to explore. If we build new space probes with machines like this one, they might do more than just collect data. They might know what kind of data to look for. They might adjust as they go, learning from space as it changes around them. That could mean faster missions, better messages, and tools that work even in the hardest parts of space. No more hoping for luck. No more waiting years to find out what a probe saw. We could get answers right away, shaped by machines that understand what they are seeing. Even more, this could help us build better machines here on Earth. If we know the machine works in space, we can trust it more in our labs. That means faster science, better models, and new tools that solve hard problems in energy, medicine, and more. But right now, the match between that space signal and the machine's prediction is what matters. It is a sign that we are not just dreaming big, we are starting to catch up to space. And maybe for the first time we are learning its rules. That match is not something small. It could be one of the first real signs that space follows deep patterns. Patterns we are just now starting to crack open with the tools we have built. Something even stranger was about to unfold right here on Earth. A hole in the rules of physics. The folks over at that big underground science lab, they might have just pulled off something wild, like reality bending kind of wild. We're talking about particles doing the unthinkable, sliding through solid walls like they're ghosts. That's not science fiction anymore. That's now. They were testing how fast particles could go, and they got close to the speed of light. Not just kind of close. We're talking 99.99999%. That fast. But here's where it really gets strange. These scientists say they got particles to tunnel through stuff. Not tiny particles either. Bigger ones. Like 1,000 times bigger than what they've done before. This used to only happen on a super tiny scale, like atoms and such. Now it's jumping into the big leagues. Imagine throwing a tennis ball at a brick wall and it just pops out the other side. No hole, no cracks. That's basically what they're seeing. The whole idea just messes with the rules we thought were set in stone. And this tunneling thing, it wasn't some glitch. They kept seeing it over and over hundreds of times. The data checks out. They even got stats backing it all up way past the point where people can say it's just noise. These results don't match the regular rule book. They mess with that old uncertainty rule everyone learns in physics class. That one says you can't know both where something is and how fast it's going. Not exactly anyway. But now that wall might be cracking. People in white coats around the world are losing their minds. This kind of result hasn't happened since that one big particle got discovered over 10 years ago. It could flip physics upside down. Now the big tech giants, they're sniffing around trying to figure out if they can turn this into power. Literally, energy that doesn't work like normal stuff, batteries that charge instantly, computers that don't need crazy cooling rooms, chips that can work without breaking down under the usual rules. Some of the other strange stuff, when the particles tunnel through, they notice tiny changes in gravity, like space itself wobbled a bit, and nobody expected that. That alone is turning heads. The experiment even caused strange energy spikes. More energy came out than should have been there. That's not supposed to happen. Energy is supposed to be balanced. In and out, not here. They got more out. Physicists are scratching their heads. Some are pulling out old theories that everyone laughed at years ago. Others are thinking this might be the missing piece they've been looking for. The thing that could explain a lot of the mess we haven't been able to solve. And the particles didn't just sneak through once or twice. They kept doing it. Even when they made the walls thicker, 200 times thicker actually, that should have stopped them cold. Didn't matter, the particles just slipped through anyway. Other labs have tried stuff like this before, but they couldn't pull it off. Their setups weren't quite right. This lab figured out how to make a kind of protected bubble where the particles could do their thing without getting messed up by outside noise. The materials they used? Special carbon structures, round balls with 60 carbon atoms, they're big enough to almost act normal, 
but small enough to still show weird behavior. Perfect mix for this kind of test. And how cold was it inside this bubble? Just a bit above absolute zero. That's about the coldest place in the universe. That's how they kept everything calm enough to see what was really going on. To catch the particles in the act, they used detectors so sensitive they can spot tiny shifts in magnetic fields. That's how they knew something real was happening. Now comes the messy part. Some scientists aren't buying it. They're saying the setup might be giving off fake signals, that the results might not be real tunneling. Just a weird side effect. Others are saying the math checks out, but they want more proof. They want other labs to do the same thing and get the same result. And that's not going to be easy. This setup is incredibly complex. There's even debate about how they looked at the data. Was it really strong enough to say this is a sure thing or did they stretch the numbers a bit? The arguments are getting serious. Still, if this turns out to be true, it might finally explain some big mysteries. Like why most of the universe is made of stuff we can't see. Maybe that stuff is hiding in other dimensions. And maybe these particles are moving through them. Some researchers think this could even prove that all the stuff we see in three dimensions is just a slice of something bigger. That the real universe is hidden behind the one we think we know. They've started calling the space inside that chamber a kind of coherent zone. A calm space where all the weirdness can happen. And if that's repeatable, who knows what comes next? This has even gotten the attention of folks working on medical treatments. If you can send things through barriers, you might be able to deliver medicine right to where it needs to go. No surgery, no cutting, just pop it through the wall. Some government groups are interested too. There's talk about secret communications, stuff that goes right through walls, systems that could never be hacked, even radar that sees through anything. Then there's the energy people. They're dreaming up ways to pull energy out of nothing, or at least out of what looks like nothing, Empty space isn't really empty, and if this tunneling trick works, they might be able to tap into that. The manufacturing world is watching too. If you can make materials that let stuff pass through under the right conditions, the game changes. Imagine a wall that's solid until you flip a switch, then something slides right through it. What's wild is how fast things are moving. A lot of experts thought this kind of technology was hundreds of years away. Now they're saying maybe 10, maybe 5. And it's not just one effect. The whole test showed strange stuff. The gravity change, the extra energy, the fact that things stayed stable longer than expected. Each one of those would be a big deal on its own. Some say the particles might be interacting with places we can't see. Higher spaces, other layers of reality. That would explain why they act so strange. And the numbers seem to back that up. The people who've spent years working on string theories are suddenly feeling validated. Their math always said there were extra dimensions. Now there might be a way to test that in the real world. There's one group that's extra excited, the hologram theory folks. They think everything we see might just be a copy, a flat version of a higher reality. The patterns from this test look like what their math says it should. Is death just a state change? Turns out Brian Cox, the science guy who usually rolls his eyes at anything spooky, just got a little rattled. Not by ghosts or spirits, but by a machine. A strange kind of machine. A quantum computer crunching problems regular computers can't even touch. And what it found? It hinted that maybe we don't fully disappear when we die. Not in the way we always thought. Brian Cox has said before that his mind runs on the rules of nature. No magic, no tricks. If something hangs around after death, it needs to use energy. It needs to push or pull on something. That's just how matter works. Ghosts, they would need a power source. They would need to reflect light. They would need to touch the real world. And we've looked. For over four decades, scientists have tested for hidden forces. Gravity, electricity, two types of nuclear forces. That's four. They've searched for a fifth, still nothing. But then came a new test. A team gave brain data and quantum models to a high-level system. It was told to look for how consciousness behaves, not just in the brain, but everywhere. What it found was unexpected. It didn't treat awareness like brain stuff. It treated it like particles, the kind of particles that can be in more than one place, the kind that shift forms without warning. This wasn't science fiction. It was number crunching. And the results didn't follow the old rules. Here's where it gets odd. In quantum land, information never disappears. It can move, it can change, but it stays in the game. If the mind is made of that kind of information, then maybe it moves too. Maybe death isn't the wall we thought it was. Maybe it's a doorway. Some researchers think awareness could shift states, 
like water turning to steam. Still there, just in a different form. Not floating around, but not gone either. The same way heat can spread, but not vanish. That would mean the mind could outlive the body. Not in memory, but as a real pattern. A kind of energy still active in the world. There are people who almost died and came back. They talk about lights, floating, voices, peace. For years, these stories were blamed on brain chemicals. But what if they were glimpses of a state change? A transfer from one kind of being to another? Then comes the idea of endless worlds. Every moment, every choice might split into a new path. If that's true, then when the body fails in one world, maybe the mind steps into another. That would mean death isn't a stop, it's a switch. Brian Cox still wants proof, but even he admits we don't understand what consciousness really is. We don't know where it starts, we don't know where it ends. Until we do, these results are hard to ignore. Quantum computers are now trying to track it. Not just thought, but the stuff beneath it. The energy, the movement, the shape of the self. What if dying just moves you to a new world? Hit like, tell us your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe if you want more strange stories like this.